What we're seeing here today is the first arrival of an MH-139 to the 908th airlift wing. Almost two years to the day since our last C-130 left, we finally have aircraft showing up for our next mission to be the flight training unit for the MH-139. What aircraft arrival means for the base is, we are now fully aligned with the base in terms of doing Air Education Training Command missions. Just like Air University on the base trains Air Force officers and NCOs in their craft, we're going to train MH-139 aircrew to fly to defend missile sites in the West and do DV support in Washington, D.C. Correct. This is the first aircraft and the current program is 10 aircraft, but there might be adjustments later on in the year as Congress and the President figure out what the budget's going to look like. It represents a generational improvement from the aircraft that Global Strike Command flies now. I don't know if it's in the shot, but there is an older UH-1 Huey in the ramp as well. That aircraft is what Global Strike flies now. The MH-139 is faster, more powerful, better armed, and is more capable in almost every respect. So it finally catches up Global Strike in order to bring it into the 21st century instead of flying a 20th century aircraft. What we've established in the area within 60 nautical miles of Montgomery is a training area that's going to have landing zones and where we will do aerial training and training out in the countryside in order to train the pilots and flight engineers to operate the aircraft. So as we get more aircraft delivered and as we start getting students in about a year, there's going to be more and more aircraft in the air. You'll see us and you'll hear us, but we're not too loud, I promise. I appreciate enormously the support that we've gotten from the Montgomery community. I'm able to go downtown frequently and talk with business leaders, with political leaders, and the support that the 908 gets from the community is enormous. We feel it every day. We feel it on our training UTAs when my reserve wing is full strength. And we can't wait to give back to the community on the air show this weekend so that people can see us and we can meet them.